hi everybody welcome back to my channel i'm half asleep right now today i'm going to be showing you guys a work day in my life because i have a lot going on right now i am essentially running three different businesses one is obviously youtube the other is jamie page doodles which if you didn't know i am basically running a little doodle shop where i sell some prints and stickers and then i also have another project that i'm working on so needless to say there's a lot going on and i do feel like um there's this curiosity of what people who first of all work for themselves and also people who work on youtube what they do for their entire day i kind of wanted to give you guys a bit of an insight of what i personally do on this particular day because really every single day is very very different there's not one day that's like the other so i woke up like 15 minutes ago my face is still like super puffy i made myself a nice little hot bev which is something that i like to do almost almost immediately upon waking up i either make a matcha or a coffee today i was feeling a little green drink and i came straight to my office because i actually need to finish editing a video for today now what i often do is i will film a video I'll edit most of it the day of, and then I will finish editing it the day that I upload it. I honestly don't know why I do it this way because it's honestly not the most efficient. <laughs> I used to edit it all in one shot and just like have it done, but for whatever reason I stopped doing that and now I do it in these two steps. So I do like 90% of the work, like I said, on the day that I shoot, and then the last 10% I do the morning of uploading the video. The video is um, a Fenty foundation first impression. So here is my editing screen. As you can see, this is the video over here, somewhat edited, and I edit my videos in Final Cut Pro. I love Final Cut Pro, it's what I've always used, and I just find it really intuitive and easy, and it's also pretty flexible. Like, I can do a lot of cool things in here too if I ever wanna get creative. So here is what the video looks like, all cut up and edited. It's pretty much, like I said, 90% done, so there's really not much for me to do, really, but I'm going to have to watch it from the beginning, and typically I'll find a million little things to take out, to add. So the one thing that I have to do is I actually need to remove this entire section and replace it with something that I actually refilmed because that will often happen I will film something I'll look at it in my editing software and I just won't like the footage either I don't like how I spoke or I felt like I missed a couple points that just left things out and it made it seem unfinished or sometimes the footage just looks really bad so for this case I just felt like I left out a lot of key information so after watching it back and editing it I made a mental note of the things that I knew I wanted to add in my final first impression of this foundation and so I just refilmed it so we're gonna delete all of that so something that people may not realize when it comes to my videos is that I actually start off with normally about an hour to two hours of footage and then i cut that down to about 15 to 20 minutes so that means <laughs> that there's like i don't know 40 minutes 45 minutes sometimes of just bullshit i pretty much almost never just turn on my camera talk to the camera for 20 minutes and then i'm like perfect that's the that, that's the footage for today that never happens ever even right now when i talk to my camera it's not a smooth train of thought so needless to say that does create a lot of mess ups a lot of stuttering sometimes i have days where like 99 percent of the video is just me like repeating the same sentence over and over again because i just can't get it to flow and move on to the next sentence and it's so frustrating and those are typically just really bad filming days again this is a really really amazing mask when it comes for again this is an amazing product when it comes to again this is an amazing product when it comes to texture again this is an amazing amazing for this particular video it was actually a really easy filming day i only had 45 minutes of footage which rarely rarely happens and that pretty much means that i just had a good flow that day if you think just talking and messing up is frustrating try listening to yourself messing up i've been doing this for eight years and i feel like i'm so used to just watching myself back on replay but sometimes i get so sick of myself seriously and i just don't want to hear myself talk anymore <laughs> again this is a really really amazing mask anyways that's my little tidbit i gotta finish <laughs> this video so it's done this rough cut took me another hour to finish so in total 
this video took me probably about four hours to edit so really not that long because the videos that are a little bit more creative so to speak will take me a minimum of like six to eight and now it's time to create the thumbnail which is to be very honest my least favorite part of the process because there's a lot of pressure when it comes to creating a thumbnail because it really is the first impression of what people see and a lot of the times a thumbnail can stop people from wanting to watch a video and so after putting hours and hours and hours of work into a video the last thing that you want is for your thumbnail to deter people from watching it because obviously you want your subscribers to click and enjoy it if you spent all this time working on it. So because this is a foundation first impression, I'm gonna do before and after picture in the thumbnail. So I have two options here. I can either have the after picture of me just smiling like a normal person or I can have more of like a clickbaity thing where I'm kind of doing like a, do I like this face? So now my video is currently uploading. It should be live within the next half hour or so. I am so hungry. I have not eaten anything yet today. Um, so I'm going to make myself some food and I think I am also going to do a quick little workout. So on days where I just don't feel like I have a ton of energy, I really like doing more of like a yoga Pilates class type thing. And so I'm gonna follow one of the Melissa Wood Health yoga things or pilates things whatever they're called so that's what i'm gonna do i'm not gonna bring you guys along with me because it's not gonna be very interesting to see i'm just gonna make some food do a quick little workout and then it's back to work so i'll see you guys then one hour later hello i'm back i just finished my workout it was really quick 20 minutes but i got myself moving which i'm very happy about um i just made my video live so that's good to go and i just checked my emails and i have a couple things i need to take care of for jb page doodles i have a couple customer service emails that i need to answer and i also got an email regarding my other project that i'm working on and it's kind of a fire that i need to take out this morning and I really did not expect to have to deal with this right now. So I need to take care of those emails and then I'm going to shower, get ready and head to the office. The best part of this customer service thing though is that my signature says from the doodle team, it's me, I'm the doodle team. <laughs> I'm a one woman show all around baby. Welcome to my office. So there are a couple things that I'm gonna to need to do here today. Um, like I said, every day is different. I use my office for a couple different things. The first is of course filming. This is my filming setup right here. You probably recognize my filming backdrop. Here's the behind the scenes look of what it really looks like. It's a huge mess because I filmed a video yesterday and whenever I film a video, it's like a tornado just went through the entire area. A little overview of my filming setup. I of course have my backdrop, which you guys are familiar with. And then I have my desk that sits in front of the backdrop and I have my reflector on my table to reflect light onto my face. I have my little monitor over here so that I could see what the camera is seeing in a closer way because typically my camera has to sit farther back so I'm not really able to see the viewfinder very well. So this, this comes in handy. Then of course in front of the table we have my my tripod and my camera. I'm currently using the Fujifilm X-T4. Then we have my giant light over here and another extra light if I feel like I want to make the background a little bit brighter. And then right next to where I film, I actually keep all of my makeup for my studio. You may remember that I used to have my makeup in this guy over here, but because I'm doing Jamie Page doodles right now, I needed this guy for storage for boxes and other packaging material. And this has become my makeup section and honestly this is actually so much more convenient for me to have my makeup right next to me when I film so I don't have to run back and forth it actually makes so much more sense this way so right now my office is a huge mess especially this area over here there's a lot that needs to be cleaned up and this is all PR that I need to organize so we're not gonna be filming today I'm actually
actually not even gonna be focusing on any YouTube things. I'm going to be doing instead some Jamie Page doodles things because I have some orders to fill. I also gotta do some doodles, I gotta draw, and I need to take care of some other things. So I'll bring you guys along with me for that. So if you're wondering what is Jamie Page doodles because I didn't really fully explain it in this video and you may have missed the other video where I did explain it. So basically I started digitally drawing on my iPad which I have right over here. Um, and I started sharing them on Instagram. So the first guy that I shared was this guy over here. This is really what started it all. The Bitter Bitch Perfume. There you go, you kind of see it. The response that you guys gave me to my drawings and specifically to this print and illustration really got me excited and kind of got my creative juices flowing. And I started drawing more and more just because I really enjoyed it and I really loved that you guys Love seeing them as well and i gotta say it really influenced me to continue so thank you so much for your support because it really pushed me to kind of keep going and so i ended up actually creating a separate art page because i started sharing so many so many art stories and posts i felt like it was a little bit too much on my normal jamie page beauty instagram so i created a new instagram called jamie page doodles and i shared even more of my illustrations there through sharing all of my illustrations and drawings you guys requested quite a bit for me to make stickers and prints of my illustrations. I created a website, which is where I sell my prints as well as my stickers. Now the illustrations that I create are really fun and doodly. They just don't really take themselves too seriously. My whole goal is just to create things that make you guys smile because they make me smile and they just make me super happy. And I've just been trying to improve my drawing skills too. And that brings me to today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. And Skillshare is a huge, huge reason as to why and how I developed my um, digital drawing skills because I've learned so much through their classes. I've been a genuine Skillshare user for years and years. I really love their classes because they pretty much have something for absolutely anything, whether you're looking to learn about drawing or digital illustration or film or photography or even like business classes, there really is something for absolutely every single topic and you could learn to your heart's desire which is just really cool a class that i took recently that i found to be really helpful was illustration by design a guide to elevating your drawing skills i loved it it really really helped i also just saw that they had a digital lettering class which i really want to take i started doing th these like astrology doodles so this says screams in gemini and i don't really do like lettering very often so i don't really feel totally confident <laughs> with my lettering skills. I've kind of just been winging it, but I saw that they had a digital lettering course, so that is next on my list for a class to take. Skillshare actually gave me a special link for you guys that I'll put in the description box of this video. And the first 1,000 people to use the link will get a free trial of the Skillshare premium membership. And then after that, it's only around $10 a month and you get unlimited use of all the classes. So the main thing that I'm working on for Jamie Page Doodles is the restock. And I'm really focusing on creating some really awesome sticker sheets. Um, in my first launch i didn't launch any sticker sheets i just launched single stickers i'll show you guys what they look like i actually have this little natasha denona eyeshadow palette sticker we have a couple fruit stickers my little avocado guy um there's really not much here because i'm pretty much out of stock of everything these are just extras that i that i have i do have a couple extra bitter bitch stickers this is actually a glossy version of the bitter bitch sticker that i did not sell but i've been including these as little extra guys in my packages just as a little surprise this is actually a little example of what my sticker pack looked like i actually made these backings i printed out each individual one cut them out put them in this protective plastic my matcha sticker was part of my caffeine pack it included two matches and then two of my coffee doodles this is just like a little leftover one so the coffee one isn't in here but for the next sticker launch i'm really focusing quite a bit on sticker sheets just because i feel like you guys will get a lot more variety in the sticker sheets so the sticker sheets are going to look something like this. It's not, this is actually not the final product. This was just a test sheet that I did. This is my plant lover sticker sheet and it has a couple different plants on here. Up until now, I have printed and cut all of my stickers myself. And let me tell you, it is so time consuming. I never in a million years would have thought that making stickers would be 
I don't want to say it's a lot of work, but it, yeah, it's a lot of work. Like it definitely takes a lot of patience and a lot of time, but because I want to create a significant amount of stickers, I realized that it would be way more time efficient to outsource my stickers. So I am actually getting them printed and cut elsewhere, even though I really love making them myself. It's a really calming and kind of a fun process. It just makes so much more sense for me to get them made elsewhere. And, and also the quality is going to be a little bit better. Um, my stickers right now are weatherproof, but the ones that I'm ordering are going to be completely like weatherproof. Like you're gonna be able to put them on your water bottles, on your laptops. You're not gonna to have to worry about anything happening to them. Anyways, right now I have some orders that I need to fill. So I'm gonna show you guys my process for packing orders. So the first thing that I do is I look and I see what the customer ordered. So Peggy, thank you Peggy. Peggy ordered a Bitter Bitch perfume print. So I go to my Bitter Bitch perfumes. <laughs> I grab one from the box. Here she is. My biggest priority is that the prints do not get damaged in transit. And so I do have a piece of cardboard behind each print along with some plastic to protect the print. So I put it inside its little home. Then I grab a thank you card. And I really love my thank you cards because they come in a couple different colors. I have a blue, a, like coral color, white, purple, um, there is like a black one too. There are a couple different shades, so it's kind of fun to see which one you're gonna get. And I customize every single card. So I write down the customer's name. Very difficult to do this with one hand. And then lately I have been adding a couple extra bonus stickers in the order. So I'm gonna add that one in there. I made these little stickers that I pretty much put on everything. It says your new doodle is here. And I use these to close the package. Then we're good to go. Then I grab an envelope. And I always put another Your Doodle Is Here sticker on the package itself. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my orders. So annoying my camera died happens but now you're on my phone so i finished filling the couple orders that i had and now i am going to clean up this place because it's just not looking so good so let's do a little a little time lapse of that So here are some of my PR that I organize. Typically I organize things into two or three piles. So over here I have things that I'm going to be giving away or donating. And then these are the things that I need to put away. And then this is the recycling that I need to get rid of. All right, so the studio is nice and clean. It's looking so much better. Even my filming setup isn't looking as much of a disaster as it normally does. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how I make my stickers. I figured it could be interesting and cool for you to see. Like I said, I am outsourcing my stickers moving forward, but I still may make some myself as well. So let me show you. First things first, let's load up the printer. So we gotta grab my sticker paper, which is right over here. I'm just gonna make one sheet today. So I'm just putting one in this bad boy. My printer is the Canon Pixma x100 it's amazing it's very very good quality just turn it on and i'm also going to turn on my cricut which is my sticker machine so this is what actually cuts around the stickers so after creating a doodle that i want to make into a sticker i send it to my computer 
and I bring it onto my Cricut design space. Okay, so now that my little coffee guys are printed, they're looking so cute. I'm gonna bring them onto my mat. So this is the cutting mat for the Cricut and you wanna line it up perfectly. Cricut is a very finicky machine and if it's not perfect, then it's just not gonna be right, which is another reason why I'm outsourcing because the amount of paper that I've wasted because the Cricut just couldn't get its shit together <laughs> is crazy. Then you wanna load in the mat, so you press that blinking uh, arrow button. And then you press go. So as you can see, the machine is cutting perfectly around each shape. It's very satisfying. All right, we're gonna take this bad boy out. And then you peel back the paper and stickers will be perfectly cut out. So I need to pop all those out, but this is basically what each sticker looks like. So basically just repeat that like 50 times. So right now it is 3 p.m. and I have a couple more things that I have to do before the end of the day. I have to finalize my sticker sheets for Jamie Page Doodles. Number two, I actually have to edit this video today. So I'm probably going to spend the rest of the evening editing this video. And then number three, what else do I have to do? I do have to do some things for my other project, just more like email-y things, nothing really too crazy exciting. And then number four, I have to go grocery shopping, <laughs> which is not really work related, but it's something that needs to be done. Oh my God, I also have a meeting I almost forgot about. Um, at the end of the day, it's with my manager and we're going to just kind of create a bit of a game plan for 2021 since it is beginning of January. We're just going to regroup and just see what we wanna focus on moving forward in the first first bit of the new year. So I'm an idiot and I actually forgot my laptop charger at home, which is the worst thing ever. I need to buy an extra laptop charger for my office space because this is not the first time this has happened. So I'm gonna have to go home to finish doing my work because my laptop is just gonna die within like five minutes otherwise. So I think I'm going to go to the grocery store, go home and then finish the rest of my work there. Hi guys, so realize that I haven't updated you in a while. It's now 6.30, I'm still working. I actually have been editing the video that you're watching right now. Um, and I just finished doing three quarters of it. I still have much, much more to do, but I, for now, I'm going to stop and I'm actually going to work on those sticker sheets that I told you guys about. So here's my personal favorite. This is the breakfast person sticker sheet. How adorable is it? You have the pancakes, croissant, matcha, tea, coffee, sunny side up egg, orange juice, the bagel, the Fruit Loops. This is just the cutest thing in the entire universe. I love it so much. So I've just kind of been adjusting all the little artworks, making sure that there's enough space between all of them. And I'm really happy with the way this is looking. Then we have the Makeup Lover sticker sheet. So we have Full Glam Club, Natural Glam Club. We have the Natasha Denona sticker, Neutral Palettes Forever. Um, a little gloss bomb. This is actually supposed to be the jet lag mask, but of course I can include branding. So it says Squeezez-moi. <laughs> I thought it would just be really cute. And then I have the faux glossier tubes over here as well. So this is the makeup version. And then we have the plant guy. And I actually have a sample right over here to show you guys. This one I was testing out obviously, but here is a fresh one. This is from one of the companies that I'm testing out. And here is what it looks like. The quality is fantastic. It's this really, really nice satin finish. Here it is when it's peeled. So cute. I'm leaving this room for the last time. It is 8 p.m. Finally done working for the day. At least I think so. I may doodle and draw while I'm sitting on the couch, but honestly, I don't really 
consider that work. It's kind of just the way that I unwind nowadays. I was just on the phone with my manager for the last 45 minutes or so, and we were just discussing, like I said, just kind of our initial plans for the new year. And now I am in my little home gym. I'm gonna do some stretching because as you guys can probably tell, I sit at the computer the entire day and I don't move very much. And so my back and my neck tends to get really, really tight. And I just feel like a lot of tension in my body by the end of the day. So I like to kind of stretch it out, it makes me feel a lot better. Sometimes I'll even do a workout if I have the energy to. Today, definitely not. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and enjoyed kind of getting a look into my work day as non-glamorous as it is. Let me know in the comments your thoughts. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed today's video and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm gonna go stretch now. Bye.